What's going on everyone? It's KT Pop here, coming at you with another video. I want to talk about photo cards today. Can you believe I've done six videos and I haven't even spoken about photo cards yet? That's what I'm here for! So today I'm going to be talking about my best photo cards, Bias Edition. I've chosen seven of my most favourite K-pop idols. I've chosen three... Three photo cards from each of my biases, and I'm going to compare them and choose my favourite one out of the three. Disclaimer! This is my video, my biases, and my opinions, so I can say whatever I want. I'm so excited to talk about photo cards! Let's go! The first photo cards we're going to look at are of Hansei from Victon. <laughs> Surpri surprise, surprise, I've what? already broken my rules. Wait. <laughs> I couldn't. Okay, there's a good explanation why. Hansei is from Victon, but he also has his solo music. And the two are very, very different from each other. Like his vibe, charisma, photo cards are completely different. So I decided to pick like two from each. Like two from when he's in Victon and then two of his solo photo cards. So there's method to the madness, okay. This is the worst justification. You don't know anything. <laughs> you could have them separate. You could have done six. Oh, I could have done six. That would have been even better. All right, give me my folders. Let's go. <laughs> oh, so let's have a little look. See here. Oh, wait, no, I don't want to show them all at once. OK, so this is the first um, Hansei photo card we're going to look at from the continuous album. It was their sixth mini album that came out in March 2020. On the back here, you can see, yep, Continuous, six mini album, and his little signature there, and the little Victon symbol on the bottom. More importantly, let's look at the, let's look at the goods. So this was like pretty close to when I started standing Victon, I reckon, around 2020. I don't think I bought this album when it came out, but it was one that I collected later. And I just think that this outfit and the makeup is really, really nice on him. I really like any kind of like red eye makeup and the smoky eye. It really suits him and the black hair with the red, I think is really, really nice. And I really like this cardigan. Bit of a V-neck there showing off some of the tattoos. Over time, he has definitely acquired a lot more tattoos. Um, back then, I don't think he was that covered, but now he has a lot and it's very hot. The next one of Hansei from his Victon photo cards is this one here from Voice the Future Is Now album that came out at the start of 2021. The title track of this album was What I Said, which is one of my favorite of all time Victon songs. And I actually learned the choreography of this a while back. I think it was around the time that the COVID restrictions started happening. So it has this real nostalgic feel to me and it's still one of my favorite songs of all time. It's on my boat playlist, best of all time, um, K-pop playlist. And yeah, it's a banger of a song. Never get sick of it. What did you say? What I said, mm, mm. It goes, what I said, and then it's like, boom, boom. Or if it's move, move. Because the way they say it, you can't really tell. So maybe that's the point of the song. Oh, ah, it's like, what did they say? Did they say boom? Did they say move? I love the blue contact lenses. I think that really suits him with the black hair. Black hair, blue contacts is just like a sleigh in my book. And I love this uh, Louis Vuitton jacket and the gold jewelry. I just think it's really cute. I like the little thumbs up. It's just like, yep, phoning it in, thumbs up. Massive sleigh. So these are the two that I chose from Hansei in his Victon days. Now we are moving into Hansei solo music. This photo card was from his solo album called Blaze. You can see there it says Blaze in a nice font. Love the color. And do Hansei in like this, I don't know, he always puts X's as his like O's and A's or actually no, it's as O, A and S. Anyway, that's how he likes to stylize his name. So go off. This album and song came out in 2021 when Victim was still quite active. The title track on this album was called Takeover. And I really feel like it kind of changed my life. It's so dramatic. <laughs> the song was just like really 
shocking. Like it kind of came out of nowhere. And the music video was absolutely insane. Riding a horse, he had like this really long blonde hair. There was drag queens in the music video, which was like pretty crazy for a K-pop music video at the time. It was seriously just like such a massive sleigh. And everyone around the time was just like, holy shit, this is crazy. To go along with the epic song and music video, obviously there were some really crazy looks that went down for this concept. And here is one of them. So you can see he's got this long blonde hair, this pretty like out there outfit, crazy beret with all these badges on it and a fur jacket, again with heaps of badges and a denim shirt underneath for some reason and a little choker and heaps of rings, black nail polish, pretty trademark for Hansei, he loves his black nail polish. And again, that kind of ready, smoky eye makeup that I think just really suits him. There are actually so many good photo cards from this album that I couldn't really choose. I really like this photo card because it's a selfie type one. A lot of the other ones were sort of taken from far away. Like there's this pretty cool one of him sitting on a throne, but I really do prefer photo cards that are selfie taken ones. But yeah, super cute. I collected all the photo cards from this era and I don't regret it. Moving on to the latest entry in um, Hansei's music, we have a photo card from the album Gummy Bear. If you've watched the previous videos, his Gummy Bear album was part of my best packaging. It was that large jewel case album that was real sturdy and had those little pink bears on the front that was so cute. The pink bears seem to be like a, a running theme throughout this, this comeback. So this one, he's cuddling like a pink bear with a little sleeping mask on. He's gone for like a pink makeup look, which is very similar to those other photo cards that I liked with the red makeup but this is pink to sort of go with the bear and a bit more of the concept a fluffy big fluffy hat and a very cute expression here with the peace sign I just think this is really really cute I still have not collected all of these which is very very upsetting to me it's just quite hard to get your hands on these photo cards because no one really collects him that heavily but I need them Everyone's gonna think that I pre-planned like which one I'm gonna choose as my favorite, but I literally haven't chosen. Here they are. All right, maybe I should go by like elimination mode. Eliminated. Any reasoning or just vibes? <laughs> I do go by vibes. The other ones are way cuter. I, I, I like a cute photo card and this one is just not, not vibing the cute right now. Eliminated. Reasoning. Gotta pick one. <laughs> yeah, I gotta pick one. <laughs> now, what do I go with? Do I go with old school Hansei or new school Hansei? I feel like these days he's doing what he wants to be doing. He's making the music he wants to make. He has always been like not a typical type idol. And I think being in Victon was like a little bit stifling for him. So I think that's why I'm gonna go with this one as my favorite. I just really think this is what he wants to be doing. This is how he wants to look and style himself. I love the makeup. I think it's amazing. <laughs> the next of my biases we're gonna look at is Junji from Only One Off. Let's look at my three favorite photo cards. Here's the first one I wanted to look at. This one was from the album Produced By Part One. This came out in 2020, which seems like it wasn't that long ago, but it kind of was now. The title track from this album was Designer. This was back when only one of were really not very well known. His trademark was that his hair was always over his face. So he had this really long hair always covering his eyes and no one had really seen his face properly before. It's been said in interviews later that it really was like a publicity stunt. So this photo shows him with that, that long hair that the company apparently forced him to have to bring attention to the group. At this time, it was blonde and relatively short for him. I mean, still long, but pretty simple photo card. Nice uh, black outfit with a cityscape background. I chose this because it just really signified like a pretty important time for the group. And yeah, this is how I kind of came to know him. So I fell for the uh, the company's attention grab scheme and really um, fell in love with Junji from this point forward. The next one again kind of feels like a cheat. 
because it's not actually just a photo of Junji. This is a photo of him with Ri, which is another one of the members of Only One Of. So in Only One Of, there's six members and they're kind of paired off into couples. So Junji and Ri are one of the couples in Only One Of. They do a lot of content together. Both of their solo songs feature the other member in the music video. I chose this because I just think it's really, really, really cute. They're on the beach together. It looks like a real boyfriend couple photo that you take on the beach. Junji looks really soft. He's got like just flowy hair a nice little smile and I just love it. it. Gives me good vibes. This photo card was from the Instinct Part 1 album. It came out in 2021. The title track of this album was Libido, um, which again was a very um, important comeback, I think, for only one of as a group. It got them a lot of extra attention with the, the crazy choreography that we've shown in edits in previous videos. It really did put them on the map and I think it was a very, very important time for them. The last photo card I chose for Junji is this sexy one from Suit Dance. So Suit Dance was one of their Japanese comebacks. You can see on the back here, Suit Dance, the three O's is like the kind of logo for only one of. It says not for sale on the back here where I'm, I'm not sure why it says that. This was one of the photo cards that I ended up picking up when I was in Japan. I went to one of those stores where they just have like random photo cards like by themselves for sale. And they usually have them for like 200, 300, 400 yen. It's like super cheap. And I found a whole bunch of his photo cards and just jumped at the opportunity to buy them. I like this photo card because I think it just has like a really nice expression on his face. It is very sultry. And at this time he had cut his hair a bit and had put this like blonde streak in it, which I thought was like really nice. And I do like the suit. Obviously he's gonna be wearing a suit because the song is Suit Dance. The main music video for Suit Dance was basically just like a performance video. They were just all wearing suits and doing the choreography and it was like, yeah, just, just very sexy. I can't choose. You got it. It's your video idea. There are... <laughs> it's not, they're forcing me to do it. I feel like they all show like kind of different sides. The original mysterious man with his eyes hidden. Then you have cutie Junji with his boyfriend. And then you have sexy, sultry, suited Junji. Which one do you like the most? I feel like I'm always just gonna go for like the cutest one. <laughs> I really like cute photo cards. Is it cheating if I choose this one as my favorite even though it's not just of him? Do you think that's cheating if I choose that one? Is it technically his photo card? Like if you went through <laughs> all the photo cards in that set, is that his version of that card? Of that mm, photo? I don't know. All right, we'll go with suit dance. We're going with suit dance, Junji, but only because this one's a little questionable as, as to whether it's actually his photo card or not. Junji! The next bias I wanted to have a look at is Jun from Ace. One of my original biases, I've been a big fan of him for many years, so I do have a fair few photo cards of his. The first one that I wanted to show of this beautiful man is this one here. <laughs> obviously doesn't even tell you anything on the back here but that's okay because i know where it's from it's just got the little ace logo on the back there this photo card is actually pretty special so this photo card is from the adventures in wonderland album that came out in 2018 so a pretty old album of theirs these photo cards are kind of hard to come across. There aren't actually a lot of those albums in the world. They were like quite limited press. I do have one downstairs that maybe I can show in a future video, but yes, they are quite hard to get your hands on and I was very excited to get this one. I don't have all of the photo cards from this album. I've seen the other ones obviously like on templates and things, and this is probably one of my favorites. I really like the facial expression. It's really cheeky and cute with the wink and the tongue out. The glasses I think are a really nice accessory. They really suit him. The hair's a bit messy, which is always cute. The outfit probably isn't my favorite. <laughs> it's more like the top part of the photo card that I really enjoy. Overall, I think this is a great photo card and the fact that it's, you know, a little bit rare, I suppose, makes my opinion of it higher. Higher, speaking of higher. The next one I wanted to show is this Halloween photo card. Love a themed photo card. This is from Butterfly Fantasy album that came out in 2020. I think this is the first pre-order benefit photo card we've got in this video. So yeah, this is a Make Star pre-order benefit that came out around Halloween, I'm assuming. 
And yeah, it came with all the different members in these Halloween outfits. I think he's supposed to be like a vampire or something because there's a bit of blood action going on here. Some sort of cape and spider webs in the background and little, little pumpkins. I just love a themed photo card and pre-order benefits are a really good way to get themed photo cards. I've got a bunch of sets of just random shit like the groups dressed as like artists or they're, they've got stickers on their face or they're dressed in like cat outfits and <laughs> I think it's just a really fun way to get these like crazy sets that you wouldn't get from album photo cards. The title track from this album was Goblin and in brackets Favourite Boys which also kind of went with this Halloween theme. The video was very much them kind of in dress up, a lot of strobe lights and lightning, and it was just like a real theatrical performance. So it made sense for it to come out around Halloween and to have these themed photo cards. The last one I wanted to show was this one from Siren Dawn. Siren Dawn came out in 2021 and the title track was Higher. This was one of the last comebacks before they all started going to the military and this one in particular was I think one of their best concepts and best comebacks that they've ever had. It really seemed like Beat Entertainment put a lot of money and effort into this comeback and it really showed in the albums and in the photo cards. So we have a look here I just think this is like ethereal beauty is that how you say it? Eth ethereal? Ethereal? ethereal. I love the kind of fresh out of the ocean vibe. The hair is very much like that saltwater hair that's just dried and open shirt is always nice. Big v-neck there and a kind of like translucent white shirt and pearls is always really pretty. So he's got like pearl earrings and like little pearls stuck on his face and neck and stuff like that. Time to choose my favorite. <laughs> I want to be like witch cackle. Cake. <laughs> oh my body cake. Oh, I was trying to do like a cauldron, but then I just started, started, cake. <laughs> started mixing a cake instead. All right, let's choose a fave. Oh, he's wearing orange in two of these. Interesting. I don't think I'm a huge fan of the orange, to be honest. Oh, what? Well, so then this one wins. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not this one. I like a themed photo card, but I don't think a themed photo card would ever be my favorite. Watch me like break that rule the next person I talk about. Do I go with old ace, new ace, kind of like a baby here, full adult man here. I think he was still over 18 in this photo card though. I'm going with this one. I just think it's gorgeous. This photo card is amazing. The next idol I want to talk about is our Lord and Savior, Taemin. Number one. It's not even looking at the camera. <laughs> I really like this. I don't know why. It's kind of unique that it's not, you know, a full on face shot. <laughs> a full on face shot. Jesus Christ. I got this far without anything sexual. That was actually so long. What was so long? Of course it had to happen as soon as I started talking about Taemin, like all the sexual shit comes out. This photo card was from Never Gonna Dance Again, Act One. This was Taemin's third album and it came, yeah, with Act One and Act Two. Act One, the title track was Criminal, which is probably one of my favorite Taemin songs of all time. It's just epic. <laughs> and the choreo is really, really iconic. So many idols cover it. It's probably one of his most famous choreographies. The back is kind of cool. Like it's got a lot of stuff going on here. 2008 to 2020, his signature and a bunch of stuff written on there. Ah, uh, it's probably like a really cute message and I can't read it. That's so sad. But as I said, I think it's unique because he's not looking at the camera. I think he has a really nice like side profile. It's just so like cute. Like his nose and his lips look so cute. And I really love this hair on him, this like silvery hair. You should go back to that actually. And classic suit. I mean, the couch looks pretty nice too. <laughs> I really like the color of the couch. I honestly, like this sounds so lame, but I think like the color of the couch really complements his skin tone and his hair color. If you get it, you get it. The next one is this beautiful photo card. This was from, I was talking about act one, act two. They released this album version that had the two CDs in one and it came in this like big hard cover book with the two CDs on the front, act one, act two, and a photo card came in it that you couldn't get from the albums that were the separate act one and act two. So of course I had to get it. Unfortunately, this photo card is 
slightly damaged and that was due to the packaging. This should have gone in my bad packaging video. It was one of those albums where there was a crease between the hard cover and the paper and the photo card got like stuck in there. It bent. So when I opened it, it fell out and it already was completely bent. Let's see if I can show you on here actually. I tried to flatten it, but it didn't really work. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you can see there's that massive crease there. Yeah, so when I got it, it kind of looks flat from, oh, actually no, it doesn't really look flat from there. But yeah, really disappointed about that because it was in one of those like two albums in one thing. It might be worth a little bit more than like some of the other ones in this comeback. So the fact that I got it damaged was pretty sad. I still really love it. I think the tattoos really make it. I really like that he had all these fake tattoos and there was a lot of like gold accessories and this kind of bold gangster kind of look. I mean, it's very like not Taemin, but it's cool to see them take on these different concepts that show a different side of them. I just think it's pretty badass. <laughs> the next one is from Taemin's album Advice that came out in 2021. The back here, again, he's got his signature and a little message, a little heart. Very cute, like the red and the black. The music video probably had some of my favorite outfits that Taemin has ever worn. And in particular, it was the tartan pattern that he wore in the music video that I really loved. This photo card, you can see that pattern here on the hat. Um, in one of the outfits, he wore pants with the same pattern and I thought they were just the coolest pants ever. He was wearing like fishnets and socks and these like short pant type things with this pattern. So that really reminds me of that, which I love. And this, the big safety pin, like that's pretty iconic. And I really love the facial expression in this. It's really, really cute. The makeup, that smoky look, and just like flawless. Look at our Lord, he is flawless. And some lovely pearls and chains here. I think the lighting is really nice. It's like natural lighting. He must be outside somewhere. I just think it's really aesthetically pleasing, this photo card. Time to choose my favorite. Seems like I really like him with light hair, huh? I always think that I prefer idols with dark hair because whenever they go back to their like natural hair color, like they dye their hair black, I'm like, oh my God, so good. But then I've realized that a lot of the photo cards that I've chosen today are actually when they have lightened hair. <laughs> and yeah, that seems to be what I've chosen here with Taemin. This one for me is pretty easy. I know which one is my favorite just by looking at it right now. Can you guess? <laughs> I forget that you can't see what I'm doing. <laughs> all right, this one is my favorite. I just really loved everything about all the outfits in this era. And this photo card to me is just adorable. And it just makes me smile. So this is my topic. The next bias I wanted to talk about is one that's become extremely important to me in the last, like, I'd say almost a year now. So if you watched my previous video, I talked about Zero Base One. This is Matthew from Zero Base One and my favorite photo cards of his. We just released a video all about Zero Base One where I went to an event in Korea that was all about Matthew. So I just realized that these are literally all from like the same comeback. So we're not gonna get a lot of variety here, but Zero Base One have only had two releases so far. So there was only really two comebacks that I could choose from. And this one obviously was my favorite. Also, you probably noticed I did cheat again. There's four. Whoops. The reason is that these are so similar. So I thought that I could have these as one. Cute. So this was from Zero Base One's Melting Point comeback. So their second mini album. I really like the photo cards that have things on the back, like signatures and little messages and stuff. These were both from the same version of the album, but even the messages on the back are unique, which I think is pretty cute. I just really love this outfit, the fluffy hat. I think I have a thing about fluffy hats um, and I really love the makeup. A lot of them had this really rosy makeup on where they had a lot of blush and like sparkles and stuff because it's supposed to be winter. This album came out, yeah, in winter around Christmas time. So a lot of the theming was snow, snowflakes, the cold, the makeup and outfits really reflect that. Yeah, this is the one where the mobile came from. I did talk about one of the inclusions from the Melting Point album in our most interesting inclusions video, so go check that out. But yeah, as they are so similar, I kind of grouped these as one photo card. He's literally just winking in this one and then like slightly changed his hand from like this to this. It's the same photo card, but I don't mind it because they're so cute. 
Those last two were album photo cards. This one is a pre-order benefit card. See, I pre-ordered all of the member Digipack versions from Apple Music Korea. So because there's nine albums, you get nine pre-order benefit cards, so one for each member. So I got a full set of these ones that was, I think they were called Cat Paw pre-order benefits. And a lot of the time when you pre-order things, you don't get to see pictures of the full photo card. You kind of get like a blurry image and a, just a brief description. So the brief description was cat paw and then these like blurry as photos. But from the blurry photo, I could see that Matthew was wearing a black tank top and his arms were out. That combined with cat paw, I was like, I need these pre-order benefit photo cards. So this is a Matthew one that came and I was not disappointed. It is very, very cute. He is in that black tank top with his arm out and chest and looking just very, very cute with his cat paw up and winking. He loves winking. One of these photo cards is winking, right? Yeah. He has so many where he's winking. Group photos that they take, he is always winking at the camera. I don't know. I guess it's like his trademark or some shit. I said the word winking a lot. Winking. It sounds like a weird word now. I've said it so many times. The back isn't anything special. Just second mini album, Melting Point, Zero Base One. I do like the font of Melting Point though. It was like this bubbly kind of font. But yeah, the only thing that would have made this photo card better is like if it was, wait, would this be his arm that has the tattoo on it? But if you got like a little glimpse of like his tattoo on his arm, that would have been even better. But there's just like some sort of chain accessory here. The last one is another pre-order benefit from the Melting Point era. Zero Base One, the second mini album, Melting Point, Megstar. I order a lot of stuff from Megstar. It's probably my favorite site to buy from. I enter a lot of video calls on there. I might actually do a video in the future about entering video calls and my experiences with that. So if you're interested, let me know, leave a comment below. The cat paw one was for the digipacks and this was for the normal versions. So I got a set of all the members in these little bunny blankets, I think they called them. So yeah, here you go, Matthew in a bunny blanket. I think it's probably one of those like hats, like a bunny hat that has the hands. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like the little hat and then it's got the things coming off it that you can put your hands in. What do they call a blanket? I don't know, but that's what it looks like to me. Zero Base One are actually known for having some of the best pre-order benefit photo cards. People that aren't even big stands always tell me like how much they love all the pre-order benefit photo cards. That's just great marketing because then you will just buy more albums just to get those cards which I would never do, ever. Would never, ever do that. This one's actually really hard. Oh, so you're not gonna pick the one where you literally had two of the same photo card? They're different photo cards, <laughs> slightly. Nah, okay, look, we're gonna choose between these two. Yeah, fuck it, no. <laughs> because I actually tried to choose between these two, like before the video, because I was like, which one of these is my favorite so that I can just have this one and two, some, like, two of something different but I couldn't decide. So now I'm gonna decide in front of you guys. How many more times do you wanna say the word winking in this video? I like this one cause he's winking. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly do though, like I'm not just doing it for the bit, okay? But this one, I think his face looks cuter. He has a cuter smile and do I prefer a paw or do I prefer a, a heart face? Gosh, these are the questions we really need to ask ourselves. Yeah, really solving world hunger with this one. I'm going with the winking one for the bit. <laughs> Here's my favorite Matthew photo card. Two men to go. You could have just said three to four. <laughs> you didn't have to make a rule if you broke it. You haven't seen the last the one time. yet. You haven't seen the last one yet. All right, let's go. The next two idols are my favorite, 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 favorite idols. The next one is Xion from One Us. The first one I wanted to show was this one from the Malice era. I freaking love this logo so much. They went with this like Garden of Eden type concept. So there's a lot of like apples and snakes and they were in like a garden and yeah, it was quite on the nose, but they did a lot of stuff with fruits. Like they all had a photo shoot with like sexy fruits, <laughs> like um, figs and stuff. I don't know how figs became like a sexual fruit, but. All the things you said concerned me. Why? Garden of Eden Garden sexual of Eden, fruits. The only three elements of the Garden of Eden. <laughs> they all did photo shoots with fruits. That sentence was upsetting. <laughs> oh, sorry. And then sexy fruits. <laughs> so this one is Xion with a sexy fruit. Um, his fruit. 
The sexy fruit that he posed with was a cherry. <laughs> I want you to see this. What the fuck? Why is this your face? What are your face? It's just a guy holding a cherry <laughs> in your face. It's cute. You just don't get it. I, I, I accept that I don't get it. Other people would see this and be like, yep, that's, that's a photo card. <laughs> but seriously, let's look at the details. <laughs> He has black hair in this era. I'm here for it. I like the facial expression. I think it's very cute. Winking. <laughs> what is it with me and winking? I must like winking photo cards. Stop saying it so much. <laughs> Why? Why is it upsetting you so much? <laughs> and like little pouty, little pouty lips. Um, this was from the photo shoot where he was yeah, with sexy fruits in a garden, but his outfit in this was really nice. He's wearing shorts, which is like very unusual. No, they weren't snakeskin shorts. I think they were like linen shorts. It was like a very, um, you know, light, airy kind of outfit. Like it was very white. And like, he kind of showed his stomach at one point as well. Like it was just very like different for him. Like he's not usually like out there, like showing off his body and stuff. So it was like a bit different. So yeah, I just think this photo card's very cute, but also a little bit cheeky <laughs> with the sexy fruit. The next two are from the same era. And I actually almost chose all three photo cards from this era, La Dolce Vita, because this is honestly my favorite that he's ever looked. He looks amazing. All the photo cards just came out like chef's kiss, beautiful. So I kind of didn't want to pick that sexy cherry one. You know, you're like- So it was a filler. It was a filler. But I thought like, oh, I should give another era a bit of a chance. Otherwise it looks like I'm like a La Dolce Vita solo stan or something and that I don't like any of the other eras. We'll go with the album photo card first. Just fucking look at this shit. This has actually got to be like one of my favorite photo cards ever, like not even just his photo card. I just think that this outfit is fucking perfect. Look at his hair, blue. This hair looks so good on him. He just recently changed his hair from blue, which it was in this era. Now he's dyed it like dark brown again and everyone's like so upset. And I think he's upset too because he was like obsessed with this blue hair, but it just suits him so well. And the little crown, the makeup is gorgeous, like really like fresh face look. All the pearls, the necklace and the, the gloves with the, the little pearl stuck on and the white satin outfit. I think the pants here were the ones where they had like a little like slit in the, the thigh with like little pearled garter things. It's really hard for me to explain, but the outfit as a whole was just gorgeous. And I think he just nailed this look. So the last one was an album photo card. This one was a pre-order benefit from Makestar. This comeback for One Us, I actually won two fan calls with Makestar. Um, so I was like really lucky enough to talk to Shion twice in this comeback. So. It was very exciting, but it meant that I have a lot of albums and a lot of pre-order benefits from that. So yeah, on the back there, just pretty standard. 10th, I can't believe 10th mini album, holy shit. They have been around for a while and still do not get the recognition that they deserve. Make Star written there and look, oh my God, on the beach. I think I love beachy vibes too. <laughs> Hasn't there been like multiple photo cards where they've been on a beach or looked like they've just come back from the beach? So what, I like winking <laughs> beaches. Fruit, pink makeup. Yeah, there's definitely themes running through these. But yeah, I just think this is cute. The natural lighting on the beach, like the shadow from the sun. He's like squinting slightly because yeah, the sun's in his eyes. It's just natural. Like it doesn't seem like it's a manufactured photo. It feels like a real natural selfie that he would have just taken while he was on the beach. It wasn't like, you know, he's having a session where he's trying to take photo card photos. It seemed a lot more natural. So I think it just gives off a really nice, unique, casual vibe. And I just think it's beautiful. Again, the hair, the blue hair, kind of rosy makeup. And yeah, the, the colors really complement the hair as well. Like he's got the kind of similar colored shirt and the gray. It's so cute. Oh, now I've got to choose. Okay, let's be honest. We're not even gonna show the other one. <laughs> We're not gonna show the, the sexy fruit one. That's out. And honestly, any of these photo cards from this era could have been my favorite because they are literally just the best things ever. All right, I'm going with this one. I think this is just really like quintessential Xion. Prince vibes, ether ethereal, ethereal, ether ethereal, ethereal vibes, the blue hair, pearls, crown, it's just iconic. This seriously is one of my favorite photo cards I've ever seen in my life. If any of you know me at all, you'll know that Yosang is pretty much my favorite idol ever. 
So of course I have left him until last. So let's see which are my favorite. I have a lot of his photo cards and when I was looking through them, I didn't actually remember a lot of the ones that I had. And I came across one that was like super random. And when I looked at the back of it, I was like, what even is this? I think I bought it from someone in like a random bid sale or something because I just liked the look of it and I didn't actually know what it was from. Here it is. I saw this today and I was like, holy shit, what is this? So this is from the World Episode 1 Movement Era, which was in 2022, but it wasn't an album photo card and it wasn't really like an album pre-order benefit. It was for these things they called the ATs Travel Package. Now don't ask me what the ATs Travel Package actually is, because I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was like a merch bundle that you could get to kind of celebrate the tour. And I think they were quite like US based. So it wasn't something that we were really like collecting in Australia. But I saw this photo card on someone's sale and I just thought it was like really beautiful. I think the, the pose is quite unique. It looks like he's sort of leaning against a wall or something. I don't think I've seen another photo card of him where he's had this pose. A lot of his photo cards, he has quite similar poses. So it's nice to see something different. And it just looks quite, it's, it's, it's natural. Like it's got these kind of pastel colors. It's very like neutral colors, like a beige shirt. The makeup seems quite like toned down and like simple accessories, just like an earring and a ring against this like white wall background. It's just, I don't know, it just has like this really fresh look to it. And I just, I really like it. I think he looks really beautiful here. I don't think any 18 -y will be surprised to see this one as one of my favorites. This is from Spinoff From The Witness 2022. This album came out just at the end of 2022. Like I think the song released on New Year's Eve, if I remember correctly, the title track was Halazia. And Halazia is one of my favorite songs ever. I actually cried when I watched the music video for the first time. And I remember it because I was sitting in K-pop time, which is one of the major K-pop stores in Melbourne. And it had just come out. So we asked the owner to put it up on the big screen. I watched it in the K-pop store and uh, bawled my eyes out. So. <laughs> That's a funny story for you. Yeah, okay, it wasn't very funny, but. <laughs> so one of the versions of the albums came with these blanket photo cards is what they've now come to be called. So all the members had a picture with the same blanket and it's like a little blue blanket with little teddy bears on it. 18 you just went fucking crazy. Everyone wanted them. No one was selling them. Everyone was like holding onto them like there was no tomorrow. I was considering getting the full set, but now it's almost like impossible to get a full set without spending. Like, I don't even want to know like how much you'd have to spend. This one, I love it. I think it's so, so cute. He has his like birthmark out. A lot of the time his birthmark gets covered up by makeup, but during the Halazia era, they didn't cover it up. So it was really nice to have these photo cards where, yeah, his makeup wasn't like heavily put over that. There's even like highlight under it or like just over it, which I think is, you know, it's like bringing attention to it, which is so, so nice. I think he enjoyed having like less makeup on and everyone was kind of losing it over it. So he felt like really good that 18 reacted well to it. And yeah, he's got like a little pose where his eyes are closed and he's like cuddling into the blanket. It's just such a cute photo. And I really love his side profile. I think like he has one of the best side profiles in K-pop. One of my favorites are real. Just want to look at it all the time. It's so cute. Lucky last. We have not one, but two You're saying jacket photo cards. Now, the reason I included the two of these is because there's a little bit of a dramatic um, backstory to this, which some of you will probably know if you're friends with me. So I found it in a bid sale on Facebook, but then I realized that I was bidding against one of my friends and they ended up winning it. So that was like a bit of an awkward, unfortunate situation. So yes, this jacket PC is one of my favorite Yosang PCs and I have two of them now. I just think it's super adorable. All of the members had really, really cute ones. So this is actually from The World Episode 2 Outlaw. It came out last year. The title track was Bouncy, which everyone really loved. And there were so many photo cards to collect from this era. It was very, very annoying, including collecting this jacket PC. But I don't know how anyone could look at this and not think it's adorable. The little pouty face is like wrapped up in the jacket. I think green is a really good color for him because he's got these like brown, green, hazily eyes. One of my favorite outfits that he's ever worn is actually a green top that he wore for Bouncy era 
on stage and it was like a long sleeve, very like tight top that looked really great when he was dancing to Bouncy and everyone just kind of lost it. So I think green is definitely his color. I almost feel like it's like sacrilegious not to pick the jacket photo card after all like the trauma that I went through trying to get it. But to be honest, I already know which one I'm gonna pick and it's not the jacket one. It's the blanket one. It is just the best. I actually have two of these as well. For my favorite photo cards that I just think are great, like I'll tend to buy like a couple of them or if I pull multiples, I won't sell the multiples, I'll just keep them. But there, there you go. My favorite photo card of my favorite idol. Really, Shyamalan twisted us on that one, didn't you? You had two of the same <laughs> fucking card and you still picked a different one. <laughs> Rip. So these are my favorite photo cards, bias edition. Thank you so much for watching. I'd really like to know your bias and what your favorite card is. So please let me know in the comments below. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. What's going on, my kid? That's better cuz boys <laughs> <laughs> edition. <laughs> Oh, no. Because it's based, no clams. yeah, it's based in China. So I'm like, what am I supposed to do with my life now? I can't watch clam openings. If I had like a, a video of people opening clams, like right next to the camera, I'd probably be like way more relaxed. Oh my body cake, oh my body cake, oh my body cake. Ha! Hoo! Cake, Swedish. give me that cake. Put it in my face. Oh. <laughs> She's a maniac, maniac. <laughs> Trying to get it in the center is so annoying. Makes a sense. I makes a sense. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you just gotta yell at parts of this. Ah! Just wanna zhuzh ya. Thanks. I want you to be like, have like a loop of hair here. Why don't you say anything?